Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're gonna to be doing a accessories video. You guys know I love doing these every, every so often, depending on the season. Y'all know I love fall, fall is my favorite season, so I always have to do one for the fall. I might end up doing another one because I have a lot more stuff in route that I'm super, super excited to show you guys. So let me know if you want a part two. But today we have some jewelry, some sunglasses, some bags, and some shoes. So we have a array of items in today's video. All right, so we're gonna start with the jewelry. And before we get into the jewelry, y'all, how are we feeling about this hair, okay? Y'all know I always do like a jet black. I'm not really a color girl. I feel like it kind of complements my skin a little bit. Y'all let me know down below, I really like this. Y'all will see the video coming up very, very soon, so don't worry. It'll be up in like a couple of weeks, so you'll get the details on this wig, but I really like it. So anywho, so firstly, we're gonna start off with the jewelry that I have. I have an array of different types of jewelry. It's all gold. I think one of them is silver. Y'all know I love me some gold, so I had to re-up on some fresh gold pieces. So first up, we have this right here. And y'all know I always wear my gold chunky bracelet. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try out getting one of these gold chunky necklaces because I really would love to get the ID necklace, but I know that's not gonna happen. It's very, very unlikely that I will get that necklace. So I said, why not try this out to get the same look? So I ended up ordering this off of AliExpress. That is where I originally got these bracelets from. And I was like, let me see what it's hitting for. And all you do is just wear it backwards to get that ID necklace look. And I think it looks really good. I was contemplating on getting it in silver as well, but I wanna see how much I wear this because if I don't really wear this that much, it's like a statement piece anyway. So I can't see me wearing this a lot, a lot, but I'm definitely gonna be rocking this this fall because it gives such a like pow, like it's gold, it's rich. It just looks really, really good on. If you don't know what the ID necklace is, I'll put a picture up over here. But yeah, that's very rare. That's not gonna that's not gonna just appear in my life. I'm gonna have to do some serious hunting to find one. So I was like, I'm just gonna try this out to get the same effect because that's really what I was going for. I'm not necessarily worried about the name brand. So I got this and I really like it. It's very heavy, very, very chunky. I've had this one for years. I've had this for like three years, maybe even more. And it's still gold. It is stainless steel very heavy, very durable. So I can imagine that this is going to last just as long. So next up, we have three pieces from In Route Jewelry. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I'm sure you have. If you know who Colleen Diaz is here on YouTube, y'all already know she's the accessories, the fit queen. So when she dropped her accessories line, I was like, I have to get some of these pieces, but I was in the midst of moving and it was a lot going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get them when I finally get settled in. And I finally got three of her pieces. So I got this one right here. I'll put the picture and the name up on the screen because I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But this right here is just a gold necklace. It is like a rosary style and it has the cross at the bottom. These are all cross necklaces. And then I have this little, little small dainty chain with a cross on it. I really needed to upgrade my neck candy and get me some new gold necklaces that I can layer with. So this is gonna be a really nice one to add to my neck. And then we have this one right here, which is my absolute favorite. This one has a really slim chain and then like a chunky gold cross. And I think I might get two of these because I really love this necklace. I love like the double layered look. She has styled these so many different ways. I've seen so many people style these necklaces and they just look so good. I feel like these necklaces look the best when you have on something that's super deep v-neck, super plunge, and you have these on and they just are layered and it just looks like, whew, it just looks so good, y'all. So one thing about me is if I'm looking for something very unique, very different, very fun, not something that I'm going to see a lot, I mean, eventually you will, I go on AliExpress. So I've been really heavy on AliExpress recently looking for like really unique, just interesting pieces, whether that be clothing, jewelry, shoes, bags, whatever. So I was browsing on AliExpress and I came across this necklace and I just thought it was really cool. I don't know, I love me a good silver piece. Y'all know silver has been very trendy recently. And I just thought that this would be a nice piece to add to my like grungy looks, the looks that I wanna have like a little bit of edge. So this is a zipper necklace. I'm sure you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a bunch of different types of zippers. And then it has some black tassels coming out of it. 
and it just looks super grungy and cool and I was like this is going to be such a piece it was very affordable I want to say this was less than ten dollars and it is a really 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 cool statement piece to have okay so next up we have something from Jacquemus and I had my eye on this for a while and I was like it's not really something that I need honestly and truly but I ended up finding it and it was on like super sale like super duper sale so I decided to finally bite the bullet and get it but these are just two earrings and it has a freaking tag all over it but I'll put a picture up over here over here whichever and one of them is just like a really big exaggerated earring can y'all see that I have no idea if y'all can see that or not but it's a very, very exaggerated earring. And then the other one is like a little teeny stud. Yeah, y'all can't see that. But it is really cool. I just thought it was an interesting pair of earrings. I love how big this one is. So this, I would say, is something that is very vacation vibes, very extra. I would definitely rock this during this upcoming season because it's just gold. It's not like... It's anything particular or a specific color it's gold so you can wear this all year round i never really had any ideas on what i'm gonna wear with this but i just had to have them so it wouldn't be an accessories video if i didn't have a pair of lore vase so y'all know dear just dropped her 50 shades of brown collection and i was literally like if i do not get the two pair that i got in this video i'm gonna lose it okay because these so i'm sure you could have guessed but i got spotlight of course I seen her rocking these and I was like, dang, those are really cute. I need to know where those are from, okay? And then lo and behold, she drops these sunglasses and I was like, of course, of course. So these are Spotlight. Y'all can't see that in front of my shirt, but these are Spotlight and they are absolutely stunning. I do not have any sunglasses with this particular shape or shade. So I was so excited to get these, y'all. They are absolutely gorgeous. So this is what they look like on me. Like, I could just see it now, the looks, the poses, okay? I know the girls are going to eat these up. I know the girls' looks are going to be fire with these sunglasses, so I'm super excited to rock these. And then next up, of course, I had to get Show Off because these are absolutely stunning. Look at the gradient, the gold, the detail. It's just everything, y'all. So gorgeous. I love these. I love these sunglasses, y'all. I love them. I, I feel like now I need to go get the rest. These were the two that I had to get, okay, ASAP before they sold out. But I think I need to go back and get the rest because I love this collection. I don't know if I was saying, I'm pretty sure I said this in my last video, I don't have enough brown. I don't have enough brown clothing, accessories. I don't even have a brown bag. I know that sounds crazy, but I literally don't have a brown bag. So I'm super excited to get my brown accessories game up because these right here, I gotta style these like ASAP and I need me some brown accessories and some brown pieces to do like a real monochromatic look with some gold. So like I was saying earlier about the zipper necklace, how you can find some really fun, unique pieces on AliExpress. I did go ahead and get me some sunglasses and mind you, I have seen these sunglasses on Shein right after I bought these on AliExpress. So I could have got them a little bit sooner, but no big deal. A lot of the times when you see sunglasses on AliExpress, more than likely they're gonna be on Shein as well. But these are like a mask, super oversized type of look and they just look really cool. I love the color, I love the shape. I love big sunglasses because although I don't have a big face, I have a big head and I don't really like to wear like little tiny dainty looking sunglasses because I feel like it makes my head look bigger and we don't want that okay so I like to get really big dramatic oversized sunglasses and these were like four dollars and they eat these are so cute I will link these down below from AliExpress as well as Shein because I did see these on Shein as well and they were just as affordable on Shein so so next up we have these right here and these are a really cool like black framed sunglass aviator style I don't even know how to explain it but these are just a really cool i love the shape of these i love how the black is like around the rim and then the interior is gold i think these are really cool the gag is i ended up getting these sunglasses after finding a pair of sunglasses from a website called i believe 1989 i'll put the picture up over here but when i seen those sunglasses on that website they were sold out and i was like oh my gosh I need these sunglasses. I was like, maybe I could find something that looks very similar to them. I don't know. 
Lo and behold, I go on AliExpress and I find these. Other than the fact that the 1989 pair have a gradient lens and they obviously have like the gold detailing with the brand name and like all of that. Other than that, they're pretty much identical and I was like, let me just get these because I really want the look of those sunglasses and I didn't know when these were gonna come back in stock. And then I go on the website literally yesterday and they were back in stock, so guess what I did? I bought them, it's cool. Now I have two very similar pairs. These were only like $4, so it's really not that big of a deal. So I say all of that to say, if you ever find a designer pair of sunglasses that you may not wanna spend the amount of money on them, or maybe you find a pair of sunglasses like I did on a website and they literally are sold out and you're just like, well, I guess I'm, guess I'm not getting those. Definitely go on AliExpress and try to search the type of sunglasses they are, maybe the colors, the shape, whatever. And more than likely, you're gonna find something very, very similar, just like I did with these. So I'm super excited that I was able to find these, but I'm also really glad that I was able to get the pair that I found originally. So next up we have these pair right here, and these are actually the Bottega dupes. And I ended up getting the original pair from Amazon. As you guys know, everyone was going crazy about those. And when I was scrolling on AliExpress, I ended up finding them on there for like $3. And I'm pretty sure on Amazon, they're like $14.99. So because I already have the two pairs that I have, I just got these because I didn't have this shade and I really wanted a pair of blue sunglasses. So these are like a gradient baby blue and they just look really, really good. And when it came to these, because I already love the other two pair I got, I already knew I would love these as well. So I felt like there was nothing to lose, especially because they were super affordable. Now, obviously they take a little bit longer than ordering them today and getting them tomorrow with Amazon, but I just love these so, so much. But if you wanted to get these sunglasses and you weren't interested in paying $14.99 or however much they cost, because I don't even know how much they currently cost, then definitely go on AliExpress and get them for like four bucks. You will not be disappointed. So next up we have these sunglasses here, which are from Amazon. And the next two I'm gonna show you are also from Amazon. But these I got because these are, I believe, a dupe for the Tom Ford sunglasses, which I actually just purchased, but they're not here yet. So I wanted to see how these fare up to those, but I can't compare them because they're not here yet. But these are a really cool like aviator shape style and they do have a gradient. So it's like black and then it goes into the tortoise. So these also have the gold little detailing right there. So when it came to these, I just really like the shape. I love the way the center looks. I just think it's a really unique looking sunglass and I think it looks really good and flattering on me. And I cannot wait to get the actual Tom Ford ones because I have just been kind of on the fence about spending $500 on them. I don't know. I was like, I don't know if I want them that much, but I ended up finding them for half of that. So I was like, I have to take advantage of this. And then when I purchased them, they did send me an email saying that they wouldn't be in stock for like a couple more weeks. And I was like, of course, of course. So hopefully they come back in stock and I'm able to get them because I really like the way these look. So I know I'm gonna love those. So the next two pair I got on Amazon as well. And I ended up purchasing these because of Jerenika. I told y'all, anytime I watch one of her videos, I cannot not buy something. So when I saw these, I just thought they were super cool, super unique and different. And I really like the shape of them. So I got them in this like chartreuse type of color and then this olive green. I don't really have a lot of olive green in my collection, so I wanted to get these because obviously it's perfect for fall. So the chartreuse looking ones look like this, and I was still trying to decide if I like these or not. I do, but I don't know. Y'all let me know down below if you have these or if you like these, if this looks good, I don't know. I think these look really cute with this hair, I will say that. But we're gonna try on the olive green ones as well. So I definitely like the other ones better, but I do like these, I'm not sure. <laughs> Y'all, I'm torn. I don't know if I'm gonna return these or if we're gonna keep these. Let me know down below, is this a return or a keep? So the very first pair of shoes I have are these right here. And I know y'all have been seeing these all over the place, okay? Literally everywhere. They have a million and one colors. And when I saw this color, I actually ended up getting these on Timu. I haven't seen this color anywhere else. I'm sure they have it on like Amazon. I've seen these on Shein, but I don't think they're on Shein anymore. And I've seen them just all over the place, but I saw this color on Timu and I just had to get it. I actually have quite a few of the other colors in route to me currently, but these are so cute, so comfortable. The perfect shoe for fall, especially if you're a very like loungewear type of girl, you like to wear very flat, very comfortable shoes most of the time. These are perfect for that and they're super affordable depending on where you get them from. Amazon has been selling them for like 30 bucks. Timu, I got these for like 
less than 15 I'm pretty sure. So depending on where you get it from, the price is going to vary, but I would recommend getting them from Timu. Honestly, <laughs> that's the most affordable place I've seen them and they all are exactly the same. So don't be fooled. But yeah, these are just super comfortable and I thought these were the perfect shoes to rack up on for the fall. Not even just for the fall, these can translate into the winter. Just put on some thick socks and you'll be good. All right, so next up we have these denim boots, which I got from Zara. And when I seen these, I fell in love. I love me a good denim boot, but I want it to look expensive. I want it to look very like a luxurious denim. And when I seen these, I just thought that they looked super rich, dark, just beautiful. I got these in a, what size? A 41. And these I cannot wait to wear. I have no clue zero zero idea on how i'm gonna wear these but i know it's gonna be fire i don't want to do a typical denim on denim but i definitely want to style these that way i just don't know how i'm gonna do it just yet so these right here are absolutely stunning i love the piping i love the color the wash that's on there it's like it's beautiful y'all these are so gorgeous definitely one of my favorite pickups from zara i need to go on there and see what they got i haven't been on there in like two weeks and that's a long time because they be dropping stuff every single day so i need to go on zara and see what else they have in the boot section so next up we have these red boots and i got these from fashion nova so i actually went to the one music festival with shein a couple of weeks ago and that was so much fun you guys you guys will see the vlog very very soon so definitely follow my vlog channel also i wanted to mention this because i think there's like some confusion Yes, I did start another channel specifically for vlogging and just like home, lifestyle, that type of thing. So if you guys haven't been able to find the videos or you're just like, what is going on here? I did start a new channel completely. So I will link that down below. I'll put it in the cards as well. But the second day at the One Music Festival, I wore these boots in black, which I got from Shein. And when I found these on Fashion Nova, I was like, oh my God, I've been wanting a pair of red boots for the longest. I got these pair right here last year around this time and although they are absolutely stunning they were so painful okay i couldn't take it i had to return them i was so mad because those were literally the perfect red boot but i just could not deal with how uncomfortable they were so since then i've been on the hunt for a red boot and i found these i already knew what they felt like i already knew i liked them they're super comfortable so when i see these on fashion nova i had to snatch them up so when it comes to red boots i'm very picky because i feel like when it comes to a red boot, it can look very costumey, very cheap. So a lot of the red boots I was finding after I returned those were just not doing it for me. They were looking real cheap and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I'm so happy that I ended up finding these and I love the shape of them. They're super comfortable. Like I said, I have these in black, so I already know what they give. And I was just so excited to find these on Fashion Nova, so yeah. These I'm going to rock very, very soon. I already have a look planned. We'll see how it turns out. I have to try it on fully and really make sure that it looks good because I always put my looks together in my mind and then I have to try it on and if it don't give, it's not getting posted. So this next pair of boots and the very last pair of shoes I have in this video probably look very familiar, but they are not from where you think they're from. So I know you guys have been seeing these style boots, the ones that are from Macy's that were going viral on TikTok. I wanted to get them, but I was like, you know what? I'm a pass. I'm just going to hold off. They sold out of my size anyway, so I was like, I guess it wasn't meant to be. But I have been seeing a lot of other brands and a lot of other companies selling a very similar style boot. So I saw these on Miss Lola. Okay, so when I see these, I was like, let me try it out. They're not necessarily exactly the same. They just have the same look. So the first thing I noticed when I got these was that the fold over piece was very, uh, not flimsy, but it does not have any structure at all. So as you can see, it's super wrinkly, which I think is okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that because a lot of these fold over boots that I was seeing, this part is very structured, it's very stiff and in place, which I like, I like that look. So we'll see, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these and if I end up getting these Steve Madden ones, I will show you guys those. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, and you'll see obviously when I try these on how slouchy they are, but I did want to mention that for anyone who was going to purchase these boots, they are not structured at all. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna move on to the bags. I only have four. So the first one is from JWPEI, and I have a lot of bags from them. Y'all know one of my favorites is the black rhinestone one. And this one I just got in the mail yesterday, so I'm super excited. So this is the yellow furry, bag i have this in orange as well which i've showed you guys as you can see they are a little different 
This one is a lot fluffier. I don't know if it's because it's older and it's just been kind of like, you know, the hair has kind of like puffed out a bit. This one I just got, so it does look very, very different in comparison to the one that I got like a year ago, but that could just be because the hair is just kind of compact and like clumped together. But I love these bags. I actually ended up getting this in gray as well. So that is en route to me and I cannot wait to get it. So this is like a, I feel like it's showing up very bright on camera, but it does have a little bit more of like a mustardy type of look versus like a bright yellow. So that's why I got this because it is very fall appropriate and I don't really have a lot of yellow bags to begin with. So I'm super excited to style this. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but you guys will probably end up seeing in the next video the other colors that I end up getting in this bag. But I really do like JWPEI's bags, so I do have another one in this video. So this is the second JWPEI bag I have in today's video. This one is the Red Rhinestone. And when I seen this, I fell in love because I love the black one. So I had to get this one. I feel like this is perfect for the upcoming season, the holiday season. This is going to eat. If you do like a Christmas look with this, it's going to look so good. But this I just thought was beautiful. I love me a good pop of red. Y'all know I love red. So when I seen this, I was like, this is absolutely stunning. I can imagine rocking this at like a dinner, date night, and it's just glistening in the light and it just looks so, so pretty. They do actually have this in another color. It's like a toppy type of color and it has the silver rhinestones on it and it is beautiful, but I don't know if I'll get a lot of use out of that because I don't have anything that color, but I am, I'm kind of on the fence about getting that one, so we'll see. But this one is absolutely stunning and you guys probably seen this in my accessories video. I did kind of do like a glimpse of this bag on display and she is just beautiful. So next we have a bag from Autolinger and I absolutely love Autolinger. They have some very unique, just out of this world pieces and I just love very unique, different pieces that don't look like accessories. They look like they should be pieces of art. I just love that. So this is the bag that I ended up getting. You guys know I have this bag in black with the tassels on it. But this is the cobalt blue and it has the silver little straps, I guess. They're not necessarily straps because you can't hold it by these, but it's just some silver straps with some very sharp spikes. These spikes are actually a lot sharper than they probably should be because it's a little dangerous. Okay, a little dangerous, but this is a really cute, fun bag. Y'all know I love cobalt, so I had to get this. And this is like a very thick, sturdy plastic type of material. It's not one of those cheap plastics either. It's gonna last you for a very long time, very durable, and you don't have to worry about it losing its shape. I really like that, especially. It's a bag that you can literally sit on something and it's gonna stay just like that. It's not gonna fall over or flop or anything like that. So I really love this bag. Probably will end up putting this on my display in there. I don't know where I'm gonna put it just yet, but I will be having this on my display in my accessories closet. So super excited about this bag. I have a look, but we don't know how that's gonna go just yet. Y'all know how that is. You have the look in your mind, you put it together and it just don't do what it's supposed to do. But I think this is gonna be a really fun look, so definitely stay tuned on the gram. So lastly, we have this really big bag from Stein Goya, I think that's how you say it. And this bag is freaking huge. Okay, so this is the bag. As you can see, it is ginormous, but it is gorgeous. I love the shape of it. It has this green, this blue, the silver metallic, and then on the back, it has like this really gorgeous, like light baby pink and then the silver the green i just like all of these colors together i would have never even thought to wear any of these colors together but it is so gorgeous and you just wear it on your shoulder it's kind of hard for me to sit properly but you just wear it over your shoulder and it is just a really big super super big exaggerated bag so this i ended up getting on essence and i believe it was on sale when i got it so I was really, really drawn to it. I don't know if this is necessarily a fall piece, but I think it's still very appropriate to wear in the fall because you can easily have on a very like basic muted look and then throw this on with some silver accessories, some silver point to toe pumps, maybe some boots or something, and it will still be a look. So I can't wait to style this bag. It is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Very different from a lot of the bags that I own. And that's partially why I was so drawn to it 
and I was like, I need it, okay? I don't have anything like it, so it's acceptable for me to get this back. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was the very last accessory I had in today's video. Definitely let me know down below your favorite accessory from this video, and if you have anything in this video or you plan to purchase anything in this video, I will have everything linked down below in the order that it was shown in the video. I'll also have chapters, of course, per usual. Y'all know how I do. So definitely be sure to follow your girl on the gram so you can see me style these pieces in the future. I have a lot of looks coming. I have a lot of looks planned. I really want to end this year with a bang, giving y'all all the looks I possibly can, okay? So definitely be sure to follow me over there on the gram if you are not already, so you can stay updated whenever I do post over there. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 300K, okay? I know we can get there by the end of this year. I do plan on doing a giveaway, so definitely be sure to hit this video with a thumbs up and also subscribe. Also, like I mentioned, if you want to follow my vlog channel, I will have that in the cards and down below as well if you are interested in following that side of things. I have a lot of things upcoming. I have some fun events and things that I'm planning and I'm just super excited to take you guys on that journey over there. So if you wanna follow me there, definitely be sure to. And I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next one.